Hi, my name is Carol, and I just finished my practicum too. I took some time, took off the orange shirt, sat back, put my feet up, and thought through what just happened, and lo and behold, an email popped up saying, congratulations, you have passed practicum, and practicum two, and now we just need some info for you to get started. To be honest, I was a little bit shocked because I wasn't sure exactly how it was going to go. Um, I did have a little bit of time with my time management. So I thought I would just take a minute and uh, put a little recording up here just of how it went and what it was like for me because I've watched every video there was on VIP Kids and I will say I loved um, the curriculum. I loved the process as far as the things that I um, attempted to do and the things I learned and all the videos I watched um, and I loved all you youtubers out there who know way more than I do who have put up um, different videos to help the rest of us all learn and coach us along um, so thanks and kudos to you guys you did an awesome job I will say that the biggest issue for me today in practicum 2 was just my time uh, time management was a little bit rough I think nerves is part of that, just you get nervous and so then you start blah, 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 talking too much. And um, I needed to slow it down and listen to the student more. So my time management, uh, it got away from me a little bit, but um, I think I was able to bring it back in the second section and really think through that as I was um, working with the um, instructor. I will say both Mach 1 or Practicum 1, they're both the same, and Mach 2 and or Practicum 2 were great as far as the people I interacted with. I loved the um, ladies that interviewed me, talked with me. Um, they taught me a lot, gave me a lot of great feedback. And so I was super, super excited about that because they encouraged me. And so it made me want to go to Practicum 2 because I'll admit after Practicum 1, I was like, oh man, am I a total flop? But then um, as I thought through the, all the things that she said I did well, and then I looked at her remarks when they came on an email, I was like, okay, I can do this. So I went ahead and pushed through to Practicum 2, and then I saw all the stuff and I went, ah, what am I gonna do? But um, it worked out fine. Uh, first part was teaching a beginner, and I think it got easier for me right away because I just did practicum one and it was like, oh, it's the same kind of kid, you know. So I, I went ahead and um, just kind of implemented the things that I talked with the instructor about after Mach 1. And so I did a lot of this and I had a lot of that or wait, that. I, <laughs> I get it all turned around. I had some a lot of props and I had... Um, uh, some TPR and a lot of this and a lot of that <laughs> but um, I did all those things and that helped and then um, and I noticed that my instructor was kind of like um, yep 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 in other words she she was really paying attention to what I was doing but um, I think she was giving me a little bit of leeway realizing I've already done a lot of this with Mach 1 so she wasn't intently sitting there staring at me like, what little thing can I catch you on? So it was great in that respect and um, very helpful. And then when I moved to, um, after then we took a break and we talked and, and I loved it because she gave me a chance to say, hey, here's some things that I think I might not have done as good and I see why. And um, that's, you know, if, if there's ever a good teacher, that's what they do because that we learn from our mistakes and, and we can kind of look back and go, hey, I should have slowed down here or moved at a faster pace here. Little tip, always, always, always move along on the review. They know it all. They know all that stuff. So for the most part. So just get through it, you know, get move it along at a, at a clip of a pace and don't stand there and over teach every little picture, which is what I did in Mach 1. So Mach 2, I wised up <laughs> and I got it fixed. So the second part of it was uh, actually the part I thought I was going to dread and it was probably the best part and that is having a student that can talk to me. And so it was fun. It was like, oh wow, you know, we have complete sentences and I can ask questions and I can say more and I can get a response. And so I loved it. I loved that part of it. So for you guys who might be looking at, oh, I don't know if I'm excited about this idea of the, um, the mock class, 
um, don't worry about it. Go, go in there with the same mindset that you went in with Mach 1 and you're going to do great. The biggest thing that I would recommend is taking time to make sure you know so well what those target sentences are. Know exactly what kind of prompt you're going to use or prop you're going to use for each slide and make sure that you you re review what it is they already know because you can use that as your as your ammo so to speak to um, get the ball rolling and get them talking and so I absolutely loved it um, I will say uh, that I have been impressed with the VIP stuff so far it's been cool to uh, to learn along the way um, I feel like they've done a lot of good training um, I feel like that's that was the reason I hung on through the process. So don't let that put a pause on you. I, I've seen some comments on, on YouTube where people have said, ah, you know, they made me want to do a second practicum and I just ran. Don't, because actually practicum two today was kind of like a, yep, you got that, yep, you got that. Okay, now you're learning. Okay, now you'll learn when you do this. When you get into the classroom, you're gonna learn. And it was kind of a, more of a coaching session for me and, um, when I got the feedback, I was excited because I felt like I had learned. So um, I haven't been a teacher in formal classroom in the United States. I taught young children English in China. If you've ever lived in China for any period of time, as soon as you step on off the plane and you're American, you're an expert in English. So um, I used my English expertise <laughs> and I taught there for um, – well, we lived there eight years, and my husband was a professor in the universities there. Um, but I went ahead and um, taught children and just tutored them, um, just as if I would my own children. And I learned a lot from them and their culture, and we just love China. So that's why I'm back. I'm here now doing it in the United States, and I want to get back to those kids um, via VIP Kit Online. Um, any questions? please feel free to send me a message. Um, I would love to let you know how it went. I'm, I don't have a referral link and all that kind of stuff right now, but I just wanted to at least get it out there while it was fresh in my mind. Um, probably number one, don't shy away from it because you're a little nervous about practicum too. Number two, um, just enjoy it. Have a little bit of fun. Even if you're, if you mess up, it's okay. And number three, I would say Mach 2 was a little bit gentler for me in the sense that I made some mistakes, oh, caught myself, fixed it. Um, and then when it came to that point where I talked with the teacher, she was like, yeah, I noticed that. And you did good. And that's what you do. So she was very forgiving of that. You know, hey, you're, you're human. You did it. And you made a mistake. And now you've adjusted it. And you did great. So... Um, for any of you guys out there that have put out all your videos, thank you, thank you, thank you. You just helped me land a job today. Um, and like I said, I'll be posting updates once I get actually into the classroom and um, maybe even learn how to record some of those for a little bit of your entertainment. Thanks again. Have a great day.